Hey guys, welcome to Tech Pro. Today in this video, I'm going to be showing you all how you can actually work on your own computer today super easily. It's actually not that hard. And normally when you work on a computer, you think about doing it, you just think, oh, it's going to be so difficult. You know, there's so many wires on the inside and stuff. I'm just going to go take it to my local computer shop and I'll just let them do it, you know. Well, you end up spending a lot more money than you actually should, especially if you're using a computer It's a little older, like 2013 or something like that. It's really easy to work on. Now I'm going to be showing you all how you can... Now I'm going to be showing you all how you can work on a Windows PC today, or a Windows computer. Um, but, you know, Macs, eh, they're a little more difficult. If you're using one that is from, I think it's like 2013 or older, then they're actually not that difficult to work on. You can take them apart really easily. But if you're using a newer one, like 2015 or higher, I know for a fact, those are very difficult. I have a MacBook Air and it is not, you just can't take it apart. Uh, and it luckily it still works fine for me. I got it recently, I got a new one. It is a brand new one. And uh, yeah, it's the latest one. Anyway guys, let's go ahead and start working on the Windows PC. And uh, yeah, I'm just gonna show you how easy it is to upgrade a few things in your computer. Let's go right now. Alrighty guys, so this is the actual computer that we're working on. This computer is a bit older, featuring an AMD Athlon processor, um, which is definitely a bit older. It runs Windows 7 Ultimate, and it works very well for me. Um, I don't really use it very often. Alright guys, so the first thing that we are going to be upgrading is the hard drive here. Now this computer is a little bit older, so it is difficult to get the hard drive out, but it's not too difficult. So the first step is to go ahead and unplug these two cords. This one right here is called SATA. You see this a lot on the newer computers. Um, so yeah, this computer is definitely new enough to have that. And then we also see another thing. This is what you'll see if you have a SATA capable computer. This is SATA power, so that's what gives you your power. Very, very simple, guys. Now, I just have to remove this drive, and trust me, it is actually difficult. So, the way I normally do it is I actually push it from behind, and it comes right out, just like that. So, this is the actual drive that this computer has in it. All right, guys, so this is another identical drive. This is another Hitachi drive. Sorry, it's really, really difficult to see here, but this one is also using the SATA interface that we used on the last one. And you just slide it directly in, just like so. And there you go. Super easy, guys. All right, guys, so this here is the actual CD-ROM that we're using. Sorry, I am, uh, my, my voice is kind of scratchy today, but, Hopefully you guys can still hear me. You do have to kind of line it up absolutely perfectly, but it works. And this computer is a lot older than some, so it's a little weird. But here we go. Looks like the bottom one works. And then you just go ahead and... There you go. So now you have a CD player installed. And of course, just like the hard drive, you do have to plug it in, which I'm not going to do currently because I don't want to, and it's just, I'm just trying to make a really simple video, guys. Now, for those of you that may be using a, a slightly older computer, not slightly older, really, really old computer, um, there are a few things that you need to do to keep it running uh, properly. So this computer uh, actually uses fans to keep it cold. Some uh, computers actually use water cooling, which is very new um you it's very expensive as well anyway this computer uses air cooling just like most uh computers so i'm using manual focus trying to figure this out okay this is the fan that i've installed into it so thanks guys for watching these are some slide upgrades that you can do to your computer i hope that this video helped you all out if it didn't then let me know in the comment section below if i can help you all out in any way 
I'll be sure to upload a video about that. Thanks, guys, for watching. Like I said, leave a comment if you enjoyed the video, and I will see you all next time. Peace.